the more aggressive in a calculated way you can be, your success enhances like astronomically. Because if you consider sitting back and, and trying not to pressure these deer, you don't want to booger, whether it's your property or public, it doesn't matter. The more conservative you are, your chances decrease pretty rapidly. Here's the negative, I think, of being conservative during those peak movement times of the year is that like these deer are getting pressured no matter what you do. The reality is every single property in America is getting hunted. Probably every single deer is encountering hunters in the woods. The problem is, let's say you have to go 100 yards to get to the spot. If you stop short of that, if you go 50 or, you know, 50, 60 yards, let's say, and you're like, I want to be conservative. I'm going to stay kind of on the buffer here. Let's say you don't see that deer and then you get out and leave. Then that deer under the cover of darkness walks right in there and he, he, he knows. knows you were just there. Yeah. And, he, yeah. you know, it has the same impact as if you had gone in that 100 yards or, or whatever it is and actually and killed him. Maybe you got an opportunity in daylight. So you have to weigh it like that. It's like the deer knows you were there, whether you saw him or not. So you need to make your time in the woods as effective as possible.